Uh, hi, I'm Rebecca from Convict Interactive, and I'm going to give you a brief uh, overview of our game called Triangle Man. It's currently available on Xbox Live Indie Games, and we are also hopefully looking to release for Steam shortly. Sounds good. Yeah. Alright, so this is Triangle Man. So we're going to start off with level one. This is a punishment platformer. So I can see you can play, you can play as Triangle Man. So this is him on the left. He's really happy. He likes jumping around. It's all good. Um, <laughs> So the idea is to collect all the coins to open the door. So the door is in the top left corner, as you can see. So you have to collect the coins before you can open the door, but you have to avoid all the obstacles before you get there. So for example, jumping in spikes is not very good. Um, <laughs> and also when you die, it tells you how many times you have died. So I guess the goal is to make it to the end of the level without dying, which only one person has done so far. Um, so here we go, collect some coins. You can press Y and that tells you how many times you've died, which is really useful. Uh, if you fall down here, you, it's kind of like you no know, return. So you can actually press back to reset the level. So that's if you ever get stuck, you can press back and reset. But it's a very challenging game. Yeah. So the idea is you can flip the switches, but at the moment this I can't stand on it. So if you flip the switch, it makes a bridge, and I can walk over. I flip this one here, and then I can reach the level. Yeah. So now we've got enemies. So we've got those. You've got to avoid those things. Um, so first I'll go over here and collect some coins, hit the switch to open that one down the bottom, so that means I can finish the level. Uh, let's hit this one too, and now I've got to watch out. Oh, the baddie. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, the free. Okay. Super maze. Super maze. It's not just the maze, it's the oh, super it's maze. Oh, it's super maze. They get amazing. Um, <laughs> Oh, no. oh, gee, that was bad. It's amazing. <laughs> I know, I'm so good. Um, I like that. All right, let's see how we go. I like how Trump just keeps on the ground. Yeah, he's, up in the air. Yeah, he's, he's just, loving it. He loves it. He's just like taunting you from the whole time. All right, well, it so, is a Punisher platformer. That's right. So there's like, if you die and you're onto the last coin and you're right towards it, it doesn't matter, you've got to start the whole thing again. Right, so so it's, it's really a game for the really hardcore like market you've really got you've really got a yeah which is exactly what yeah. steam is perfect for because people there really seem to enjoy these kind of games um yeah. so you found your target market pretty yeah much. pretty much you know um, you know what they want you give it to them yeah so. wow that's a lot of spikes <laughs> the idea is yeah we're, hoping, we're thinking about possibly releasing for smartphones as well but we changed the gameplay a little bit so it's not quite as um not quite as difficult People so it might make it like an easier version for the, for the kids to play. Mind you, kids are really good at picking things up, so um, they are actually surprisingly good at this. Yeah, it's, um, I can't explain how many times I played Call of Duty and had 12 year olds destroy me. Yeah, because and it's I'm like if you think crying. about it, I don't know, I used to play like Donkey Kong on repeat for like a million years. And that was actually pretty hard if you think about it. Like, if you go back yeah. and play without ever playing before, it's difficult. So, um, yeah, they just play stuff to death and get really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the whole like number of deaths. Death type thing you've got going on. That's like a it's sort of like a high school thing you want. Yeah. So what we're thinking of doing is also having because on Steam you can have leaderboards, which you can't do yeah. on Xbox Live indie games. So you can have like a like a backwards yeah, right. I guess so the least amount of deaths. Yeah. The whole thing. And also we're thinking of putting in a timer for the levels, like how Ooh. long it takes. Yeah. So can you get least and then so you can have like a least amount of deaths timer and then I mean leaderboard and a timer leaderboard and then like a combination of the two. Yeah. So you could have. Um, you know, the combination, so who made it to the end of the level with the least time and the least amount of deaths? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can get like zero deaths, you take three days to complete it, yeah. but that's not great. Yeah. So it's really a game that would be hard to master, but if you're one of those people... Yeah, yeah. And so it, it's easy to just pick up and play, like, you guys want to have a set of practice and do it. It's pretty easy just to start it and, and try. Um, I've always liked tiles difficult. like that, yeah, but easy to play, hard to master. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the levels are so short that you can you just think, oh, but you know, I can get to the end of this one, no worries, I'll do that. Um, and then when you die, you're like, oh, but you only go back to like there and it's yeah. easy to start again. <laughs> and it's very addictive, they're like, it's like eating chips, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've played this a lot. Um, I'm going to die a lot either, I can do that already. Oh, um, oh, that was close. So these puzzles really do get harder as they go along. Yeah, they do. We can skip it through a bit and I'll show you how bad they can get. You know it's hard when you know <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So 
So it's really punishing. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah, it is like an oh, dude. That you know, that's actually a good thing as well because a lot of games are like getting a little Yeah, but we're kind easier. of annoyed with that. The games are like too easy and you feel like they're patronizing you and you're not really yeah. having a good time. This one's like off you go. Yeah. I think it's the direction. So one of those games like, oh, congratulations, you won a level. Yeah. This is like, oh, you only died five times. Good for you. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, when I first started playing this, I was terrible. I'm not much. How long has this been developed for? Um, probably about three months. Um, most of the basic gameplay only took about two weeks to make, to be honest. And then after that, was just polish and, and play testing and tweaking and that kind of thing. And you mentioned, um, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned this is already on um, the um, Xbox Live Indie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how's that? Like, that's a part of bundle. Yeah, it's yeah, actually a part yeah. of. It's a pack of five. Yeah. Uh, so we've got four other games that we've made over the last few years. Um, it's not doing very well, mostly because we, uh, I think we set the price too high, was the general yeah. idea. Um, because we didn't really know enough about the network. And this was our first ever game release, like straight out of, straight out of uni, and thought, yeah, oh, let's release a game. Um, so we've learned so much from that, that it's, it's been valuable even though we haven't made any money. Yeah. Well, we've made a little bit of money, not much, yeah. but it's still been valuable with all the things we've learned. Like, this is very indie game. Oh, very indie, yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, what, what I, I've heard there's been some, like, good reception. From yeah, so we had a, we had a fair few, we had a lot of reviews actually for this, um, and most of them said forget all the other games, just play this one, um, and they really wanted to just play this and have a lot more content. So they got to the end and were like, we want more. So now, so now the goal is to just flesh that even more with yeah, so the people they want. Way more content in there. Uh, keep the keep the character of the game hopefully, but change the artwork a little bit just so it looks a little bit more high resolution than what it is right now because it's yeah. pretty low res. Um, to change the artwork around a little bit, polish it up, put a bit a few more features in. For example, if we're going to have a few more triangle man characters. We'd have one with like a top hat, one with like a moustache. <laughs> Have like Mrs. Triangle Man, you know. Mrs. Triangle Man. I'd love to see who Triangle Man would get with. That's right, that's right. Yeah, but like the PV rate, there's no pills that eating. Oh, of course. Instead, it's just pure furious rage. Oh, he's so happy, look. Yeah, look, think how happy he would be with Mrs. Triangle Man. Maybe that's why he's so happy. Oh, maybe. Let's not go there. Um, we're also thinking that you could collect the coins and like spend them, yeah, yeah. so okay. you could buy things like different hats or, or different levels or different oh, yeah. you know abilities to get you through levels. So you could, um, have you discussed multiplayer options? Mm, no, we haven't actually gone into the multiplayer options yet, just because. I'm still not really sure how that would work um, without copying anything like Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to. Like they're nice guys, but I don't want to get too. Yeah. Um, yeah, we haven't really looked at that too much. We just have, I don't know, just so far it's just single player is all we're aiming at. Um, well, single player. Yeah. Before we wrap things up, do you want to show us one of the later levels so how oh. really... This is pretty difficult by the looks of things. I'm a bit scared and intimidated by it, but I want to know how bad it can get. Alright, let's, let's find... Let's find a better one of it. Where uh, will the final version have the whole choose your own level type thing? Like um, that? Probably not. We're thinking of having like a, a kind of, I mm, toss the up at the moment, where we're going to have like an overworld kind of like Mario, where you can like pick yeah. a level, so if you're really, really struggling Like a stage one, selection thing? Yeah, like in World of Goo as well, like yeah. that you can kind of skip places and go a different path to get to the exit. Because if you're really struggling with a level, you don't want people to switch off because they can't do it. Um, and there's one after this that's very tricky, so if I make it to this one, I can actually show you. As you can tell, it's a very dungeon-y type place, so yeah, you, know it's, you know it's hard if it's a dungeon. <laughs> He's actually making his way outside eventually. Okay. So somehow this is a progression from brick that makes no sense to me. But okay. the gauntlet too. Yeah, hang on, there's a better one. I'll just, I'll just die a bit and I can skip levels. You can actually skip levels after you die five times in, in the current okay. version. Um, is that a penalty or is that uh, we might oh this is one. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am bad at this. Um, oh god. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh. You've got to wait really briefly it's like this, like, at the uh, yeah. second. <laughs> yeah, you've got to like. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the definition of a oh, Punisher no, platformer. It's so close. Here, one more shot. Oh! oh no. I'm not going to make okay. it to the end now. Here, one more oh, try. God, one more I try. This is like, this is I have faith in you. Come on. I don't. I'm <laughs> oh, hey! go. oh, now you got another one. Yeah, I know, and now if I die, it's like... <laughs> thanks, thanks, game. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't, I like, I'm like coding things in this and it's still kind of And you've also got to get the switch for you to actually get yeah. through there. Oh, my brain is hurting. Yeah, that's just he really is intimidating the way he just smiles and waves. Yeah, he's like, come on. Yay! Woo! Ah, yeah, oh, so congratulations. Yeah, oh. let's, let's oh. see if we can find him more because he does eventually get outside. Here we go. And then you've got flying enemies to worry about as well. Um, I'm total, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, some really, there's some really corny. Oh, dear. Oh, there's that was really close. Ones in yeah. Oh, um, it's just a wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you meant to get through there? Yeah, try this. No way. That's how we get it out there. Yeah. That level design's crazy. Yeah. I can just imagine you guys around the table just going, How can we piss people oh. off? Oh. That would be one. Oh, anyways, um, we'll just wrap this up. Pretty much what we're talking about is um, hopefully in the future we're looking at like on Steam, yeah. leaderboards, more high resolution. Yeah. Um, maybe top hats. <laughs> maybe top hats. You, you can't go wrong. Monocles, who yeah. knows? Oh, monocles. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Triangle Man and a top hat monocle. Yeah, yeah. a top hat monocle. Uh, I hope that comes through. And a Yeah. Or Ooh, that would be nice. Yeah. Triangle Man. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Triangle Man. I'm keen for it. And and, and, and maybe maybe a uh, a Mrs. Triangle Man to keep him so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Company. Want to keep him smiling. Yeah. He, he looks pretty lonely out there. Why does he have enemies in this stage? Just no, there's not. That's tons of evil spikes. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow, okay, well, I stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, um, sign off. This is uh, Matt Vella from Caps Computers, Josh Spike, and um, uh, Rebecca from Convict Interactive. Yeah, just uh, keep an eye out for the game. You currently can get it on Xbox. Xbox Live Indie Games. Yeah, that's the one. Uh,